Topping our newscast tonight, American crime buster William Bratton is not an advocate of using the military to fight crime. And he says the crime situation facing Trinidad and Tobago extends further than these shows and cannot be solved in isolation. The former chief of police in Los Angeles and his team are here on a two-day visit to conduct a diagnostic test of the police service's methods of fighting crime. Karen Kozia Phillip has more. In an exclusive interview with C News, the former Los Angeles police commissioner points to post 9-11 in the U.S. and the use of the National Guard in New York's airports and train stations. But he says in practice, the use of a country's military resources to fight crime is usually not condoned. The military is not trained to do police work. It's, uh, they might both wear uniforms, but it, they carry weapons, but it is a totally different uh, training uh, that they go through. And uh, if they're not adequately trained, they can compound the issue. Because the Defense and Police Complaints Bill 2013 lapsed during the last session of Parliament when independent senators expressed objections to the bill that was intended to allow soldiers to be precepted to work in joint operations with the police. Mr. Bratton says TNT's upsurge in crime is not unique to the region and is directly connected to the burgeoning trades in drug trafficking, gun smuggling and human trafficking. And he says the gains gotten from these illegal trades also attract corruption in the police service. Developing countries, poor countries, as police officers oftentimes are not paid well, they're not selected well, and to uh, basically make a living, oftentimes they will resort to uh, breaking the law to enforce the law. Also, the nature of policing, particularly in today's uh, uh, world with the huge amounts of mon money involved in human trafficking, drug trafficking, gun trafficking, the temptations are phenomenal. Former Commissioner Bratton has had success in several districts in the U.S. in reducing gang violence. He's learned that overcrowding the prisons may not be the best method. In the 80s and 90s, we got very tough on crime. We built new prisons and locked up literally millions of people. And uh, a lot of them drug addicts, a lot of them drug dealers, minor level drug dealers. We have since come to understand that was probably a mistake, that you can't arrest your way out of the problem. Arrests are appropriate for certain uh, major criminals, but sometimes the dollars are better spent on drug treatment, dollars are better spent on uh, uh, reform efforts, people coming out of jails trying to basically get them back on the right track. The former police commissioner spoke exclusively with CTV presenter Paul Richards. Tune in to CTV's First Up program tomorrow morning to see the entire interview. Karen Cozier, Philip, CNN.